Thank you, Saloni, for that wonderful introduction. Thank you, friends, for joining us for this webinar today. I can see that there are people still joining in. Well, friends, today we are, you know, like Saloni mentioned, we are an immigration advisory firm based out of Mumbai. Over the last few years, we have helped many clients and their families to migrate to countries like the US, Canada, UK, Portugal, etc. So friends, today we are going to talk about how you can move to UK through the Innovator Visa route. Let us look at the UK Innovator program and how it can help you to move to UK, why it is considered to be one of the fastest pathway of moving into UK in the current time. What is Innovator Visa? Let's start with this. You know, we have been getting, we have been talking to clients and they've been talking to us and there, uh, you know, seems to be a lot of confusion with regard to migration to UK for the business purpose. People ask us all kinds of things that is it like, a, is a, what is a startup visa? What is Innovator Visa? What is tier one visa? What is the difference between all these type of visas? And there is a lot of confusion. So friends, let me tell you that yes, there is an innovator visa, there is a startup visa, both these are separate, and there is an investor visa also in for UK, right? So when we talk about the investor visa, that category is for pure passive investors, people who just want to invest money and move to UK. It is like the EB-5 visa for US. And in that category, you need to invest 2 million pounds in financial instruments. 2 million pounds means 20 crores. So if you have that kind of money, you can invest 20 crores in UK, then the tier one visa is one of the passive routes of moving to UK. The other category is a startup visa. Now startup visa is also very popular in UK. It has just been started, but the startup visa is not the ultimate solution for moving to UK. It is only a two year visa. It allows you to just get entry into a UK and start your business. Eventually after the startup visa, you, uh, you know, have to go to the innovator visa. And if you are looking at migrating to UK, then by going to the startup route and then going to the innovator route, you are only going to extend the time period for moving to UK. Now, of all the three options, we consider innovator visa to be one of the best options for moving to UK is why? Because it's, you know, it doesn't take much time and it doesn't involve much investment. You will find that in the next few slides. So this category of visa, the Innovator Visa, was introduced very recently in you know, 2019. And in a short period of time, after immediately after 2019, we had COVID, etc. But despite all the situations, the visa has become very popular. And one of the reasons why this visa has become very popular is because it is the quickest way of moving into UK. We have seen, we have had cases where people have moved to UK in three months time under this visa route. You know, so if you meet all the conditions which we are going to talk about in the next part, you can move there very quickly. Now, let us look at what are the requirements for the UK Innovator Visa. You know, the first requirement is, of course, you have to start a new business. And the good news is that this business requires an investment of only 50,000 sterling pound, which is approximately 50 lakhs. And this 50 lakhs, you will be investing in your own business. So friends, compared to 20 crores under the investment route, here you are investing only 50 lakhs, right? The second condition is that the business should be innovative, it should be viable, and it should be scalable. Now, innovative means that it should be an original idea and it should be different. It should not be something which is already existing in uh, this UK market. Right now, innovative, innovative also at the same time does not mean that your idea has to be absolutely out of world or it has to be some tech idea. Nowadays, you know, innovation has become synonymous with tech. When we talk of innovation, people will think, oh, it has to be technology. It's not necessary. It has to be to be innovative. It has to be a tech business. It could be any business. It could be a manufacturing business. It could be a healthcare business. It could be a trading business, service business. Innovation means either you are offering a different product or you're offering a different service, or you are offering a different process. It could be the same product that you are manufacturing, but if your process is different, if your process is going to be called, is more cost effective, it is eco-friendly, then it could be considered as, as an innovation. You know, so for example, if you're making, let's say you're making paint, right? In paint, you are consuming certain chemicals. Now, instead of those chemicals, if you're going to use some eco-friendly chemicals and come up with a formula, and if you patent that formula, then that could also be considered as an innovation. 
right? So there are various ways in which you can have innovative business and we specialize in that. We can help you in identifying an innovative element in your business and extrapolating the same. Next condition is that business has to be viable. Oh, it's just obvious, you know, if we are all businessmen, entrepreneurs over here, and we know that what is the meaning of viability, that the business should be realistic, it should be achievable based on your own resources, which means you should have enough experience, enough uh, skills, and enough money to execute this business successfully. And the third condition is that the business has to be scalable. That means it has a potential to grow, to create employment, and expand into international market. And last, and the most important condition from the business point of view is that this business has to be endorsed by an endorsing body approved by the UK government. Now, what does this mean? You know, friends, when it comes to any other form of business immigration, you know, it is, it is usually the government official, the visa officer who decides on your visa application. In case of innovator visa or the startup visa, things are different. You know, the government says that we are we don't know what is an innovative business we don't know what is an you know startup business so they have outsourced this task to bodies which specialize in innovative business startup business this could be universities research institutes financial and management consultants technical consultants etc so these are the people who are specialists they have been appointed they are the ones you know, who will look at your business plan, who will look at your, uh, you know, skill sets, experience, background, profile, et cetera. And then if they are convinced that, you know, your business is indeed innovative and it meets the above conditions of innovation, viability, and scalability, they will give you an endorsement letter. And that endorsement letter is a key document on the basis of which you are going to get the innovator visa. So it is very important for you to work with the right kind of endorsement body which is going to approve your plan and we'll be talking more about this later in our presentation what are the other requirements well other requirements are fairly simple you know first thing is of course you need to have business and management experience and skills to scale up your business you also need to devote time in running this business this cannot be used as an employment visa you cannot take this visa go to uk and work take up employment elsewhere you need to work in your own business and again, you need to have fluency in English, level B under the CEFR code. So those of you who may be familiar with IELTS, you know, so C level B is equivalent to band 5.5 or 6 in IELTS. And last but not the least, you need to have sufficient funds to support yourself and your family while you are in UK. While officially this amount is very nominal, but in reality, you will require enough funds because we know that if the business will not be profitable from day one and you will need some money to support yourself in the UK. Let us look at the timeline for this process. Right, the first step is of course, you need to prepare a business plan. Business plan based on which is realistic, which is viable, which is scalable. This process may take about one to two months. And once a business plan is ready, we need to start presenting it to the endorsement body. And then again, you know, the endorsement bodies will ask us various questions. We'll have to we'll have fill up various forms, et cetera, post which they will approve. If they are convinced, they will approve our business plan and issue us an endorsement later. This process again could take about one to two months. Once you have the endorsement letter, you have to file your application for the visa. And that process again could take about one to two months. So friends, in all, you can be in UK in about three to six months through this route. However, it's easier said than done because we know that once you start thinking about going through this route, it will take you some time to decide, some time to plan, to work out your business plan. So if you are looking at moving beyond six months, you need, uh, you know, in six months to one year's time, you need to start planning now so that we can achieve the timeline. Now, once you get the visa, the innovator visa is for the period of three years. Now, during this three years, you will be setting up your business in the UK. And after three years, when you want a permanent residency in UK, you have to you know, achieve any two of these additional conditions. So after three years, they're going to look at your business. You will, they will see that whether you have genuinely set up the business, whether you have achieved you know, certain number of, uh, certain number, amount of revenue, 
and other conditions based on which they will then give you a right to uh, you know stay in uh, the permanent residency in uk now these conditions are not very difficult to meet let us look at what are these conditions the first condition is that you should inv have invested at least 50000 in your business and you should have spent that money now friends this is very easy you know investing 50000 in your own business over the period of 3 years i'm sure your business investment over 3 years would be much more than that the second condition is that you should have uh, you know undertaken some research and development and applied for a patent now again if your business has some amount of innovation like i explained to earlier the paint business it is very easy for you to apply for a patent it says you apply and not receive right so with some amount of r d and with the help of a good patent lawyer you will be able to file your application for the patent other condition is that you need to acquire certain number of customers right depending upon what kind of business there are and the market in which you are operating you need to achieve certain number of customers other condition is that you should have achieved a certain amount of turnover you know this could be either for the domestic market or the international market but you need to achieve the threshold turnover and the last condition is that you need to create a requisite number of jobs it could be either 10 jobs or five jobs depending upon how much salary you are paying to the employees and what is that level right so you need to meet out of this conditions any two of which one condition is already met 50,000 investment in your own business after of the remaining four you need to meet just one condition and this has to be again approved by the endorsing body with whom you are working so this certification that he has to have met the conditions will be issued by the endorsing body hence working with the right kind of endorsement body becomes important for you not only to get your initial innovator visa for a period of three years but also getting your pr after this period of three years now let us look at what are the benefits what are the benefits of taking your business to uk and setting up it up over there the first and the biggest advantage is that you have a startup entity in the international market and with this you get global recognition you know we have many clients approaching us they are doing very well in their business over here in india so we ask them that if you are doing so well in your business in india and you want to continue running your business in india why is it that you want to set up a business overseas <coughs> sorry so we are being told that once you have an entity you know once you have a you know, international entity particularly in countries like us or uk then you get a better global recognition in the in, not only in the domestic market but also international market you are able to present yourself better you are able to get more customers and do more business the other advantages you get an access to a very supportive startup ecosystem uk has one of the best startups uh, you know ecosystem in the world and we'll talk more about that later it also becomes easier being an entity established in uk it becomes easier for you to raise funds for you to attract global you know investors partners and mentors and last but not the least you know you get a lot of government subsidies and benefits which we are going to talk more in detail later so let us look at the benefits you know the first benefits obviously in the business you need is funds how you know having an entity a startup or an innovative business in uk can help you in raising the funds well you can raise funds from government as well as private entities you can get equity funding from co-founders angel investors venture capitalists and, you know we can help you in getting co-founders for your business if you have a really good innovative idea when it comes to debt funding which is loan bonds etc there are government agencies which will provide you the same at subsidized rate there are banks which will give you loan at attractive terms there are institutions and private equity players who are ready to lend you money what are the government benefits right a lot of our clients are asking us you know we are hearing about benefits being rolled out by governments especially in countries like us uk canada europe etc during the COVID time. So a lot of our clients have approached us to know what benefits they will be entitled to. So friends, here are some of the benefits that you can get in the international market. Financial benefits, you get subsidized loans. You know, government will give you at loan, government or government agencies or private entities will give you loans at subsidized rate. 
it's so easy to borrow. The interest rates are down over there. You can borrow at 2%, 3% and so on. You get guarantees. You know, sometimes the government will not directly give you a loan, but it will give you a guarantee. Basis of that guarantee, you can take raise money from banks and financial institutions on attractive rate. You get wage subsidies, which means, you know, if you are paying salary, you are running your business, you are paying salary to the employees. The government had given, you know, cash payments to the businesses to pay salaries to their employees. You get tax credits and you get innovative credits. Now, for example, in case of UK, if you're going to spend certain money on R&D, let's say if you're going to spend 10,000 sterling pound on R&D, then government will give you a tax write-off of more than 20,000 pound. So you get enhanced tax deductions and tax benefits. What are the non-financial benefits of setting up business overseas? One is on the training front. You know, there are a lot of training programs. Many of them are subsidized and these are being run by government and government agencies as well as private agencies, angel investors, you know, financial institutions, etc., to help, uh, you know, upskill the entrepreneurs. You have networking opportunities. There are a lot of events being organized, again, by government as well as private agencies to enable entrepreneurs to meet other entrepreneurs, angel investors, mentors, etc. And other advantages, of course, internship. Being an innovative startup business, you need to attract talent, but you are not able to pay high salaries. So through the startup visa route, I mean, through this route, you can hire interns or fresh graduates from some of the best universities at a very, you know, affordable price. What are the benefits to your family? Of course, the first benefit is you get a permanent residency. You get to move overseas with your family. You can stay there. Your children can enjoy education, which is free or subsidized. You know, in UK, when you move there into UK with your children, they can study for free in public school. And once you become a permanent resident, you can enroll your children in colleges and universities over there and pay maybe one fourth or one third of the fees which an international student will pay. You get access to free healthcare. We spoke about this earlier, how good a UK healthcare system is. You get to live in a so you know, kind of good quality life in a safe and secure environment. So these are some of the benefits at the personal and the family level. Now, friends, we have seen what is a UK innovator visa. We have seen what are the conditions for this visa. We have also seen what are the benefits you get through this particular visa. Now, we would like to understand, you know, I mean, like we mentioned earlier, innovative visa does not mean that you need to have an innovative business. Only then you can get this visa. Right. To move ahead with our presentation, we would like to understand from you what is the nature of your business, what is your position. And for that, we would like to conduct one more poll. Right, friends. So can we have the second po uh, uh, the poll, please? Yeah. So we would like to know what is the type of business that you have. Are you running an innovative business, which is a startup? Or are you running an innovative business which is more than two years? Are you running a traditional business? Many of you, you know, who have participated, maybe having a traditional business, they may not having innovative business. Or are you an investor? You know, you are looking at basically moving to UK by making an investment in an innovative business. All right? Can I? Yes, we are getting good response over here. Yes, we are almost done. Thank you. So I can see some more responses. That's quite encouraging. Yeah, we have response from nearly more than 30 people over here, almost 30 people. So that you can see that majority of you, that is more, almost 43% are people having innovative business with more than two years. And you are perfect fit for the innovative visa. We also have many people to almost 21% who have an innovative business, but which have just started. And we have again an equal number of people, 21% who have a traditional business. And we also have a good number of people who are investors, professionals, and that is 14%. Right? Thank you. So friends, 
Under the innovative visa route, we have something for all of you. Let us look at what we can do for each of you in this segment. So first, when we are talking about people having, uh, you know, entrepreneurs with innovative business, and this constitutes majority, almost 65% people of you who are participating today fall in this category. So in here, this case from the earlier poll also, we have seen that your primary objective is to take your business overseas and secondary objective is family migration. You meet the basic requirement that is you have an innovative business with some kind of track record in your home country. So for you, you can migrate through this route, like we said earlier, we saw earlier, minimum investment is 50 lakhs. And then there are, of course, other costs like immigration fees, lawyers fees, consultation fees, healthcare uh, insurance, etc. The time frame under this route, like you mentioned earlier, is about three months to six months. Next. We also saw many people with traditional business, you know, businessmen with established business, but not having much innovation. So for you, your primary objective could be to migrate to Europe, uh, UK, and also starting a business over there. The basic requirement is that you need to have some kind of an existing business and not be innovative. We can help you in finding the innovative element in your business and help you in you know, bringing that element of innovation in the new business in UK. So for you, again, the investment amount is 50 lakhs plus other cost. Here the cost may be slightly high because we need to bring in an element of innovation in your business. Again, the time horizon is about three months to six months. Next category is, of course, many of you are investors or professionals. Your primary objective would be to, you know, move there with your family. And at the same time, you would like to invest in a business, use your past skills and experience in mentoring somebody with an innovative idea and setting, establishing the business in the UK. So here again, we have an option. You could invest anywhere from 90 lakhs to 150 lakhs. In an innovative business already there in UK, you can partner with somebody in UK, become a co-founder, invest in that business and help them grow that business and move with your family to UK through this route. Right, friends? So we have now seen what we have to offer to each one of you. Now let us look at how we can help you. You know, we at Aquest Advisors, like I mentioned earlier, we have helped many people to migrate overseas and we specialize in business immigration. Also in the case of in this business immigration, we have our expertise in the area of startup visa or the innovative visa, right? And this comes from our background. As you know, that I'm a chartered accountant by profession. I've been a banker for more than a decade and I have a good understanding of business as well as legal finance, taxation, et cetera. So, Based on our core you know, competences, we have developed expertise in the area of startup visa immigration, helping entrepreneurs with innovative ideas to move overseas. So what we will help you in evaluating. The first thing that we do is evaluate your business to see whether you are eligible. And then, you know, we will guide you. If you are not eligible, then we can guide you on what are the things that you need to do to meet the conditions, the eligibility conditions and move to UK. We will also assist you in preparing the pitch deck, business plan, etc., which is required to be presented to the endorsing bodies. We will help you in incorporating the company or the LLP or the partnership firm in UK. And the most important part, we will help you in getting endorsement from the approved body. Getting endorsement is the key to getting the visa. It is a key document. Once you have your endorsement, it is just a process for applying for the visa, <coughs> right? And we, we have so conviction that we, we are so confident that we'll be able to give you the, get you the endorsement uh, letter that we guarantee you if we are not able to get you the endorsement, we'll refund you the entire fees. Whatever fees and you have paid us will be refunded to you 100% if we do not get the endorsement letter for you, right? And we are able to give you this guarantee because of our expertise, our experience in this area, our understanding of your business, 
and the relationships that we have with the endorsing bodies. The other area we can help you is, of course, business incubation and mentoring. This is again very important, like we have seen earlier, that after three years, you need to move in order to get your permanent residency, you need to prove you have met certain conditions. So meeting those conditions is very important, and this is where we can play a very important role. And then we help you in applying not only for your initial visa, but also for your permanent visa, uh, residency. Why clients choose us? You know, over the years, we have worked with many entrepreneurs and we have helped them to move their business overseas. If you go to our website or if you go to our, you know, Google reviews, you will see what clients have to say about us. So basically, these are the reasons why clients are selecting us. You know, we have the relevant qualification, expertise to guide you. We have very good understanding about the startup businesses and the entrepreneurs. Since we have interacted with over more than 100 entrepreneurs over the last, you know, one and a half, two years since the time this innovative visa has started, we understand the requirements, we understand the motivations, we understand the concerns, and we are able to handhold them and guide them in this journey to the overseas market. Again, we have global connections with incubators, investors, government agencies, etc. on the basis of which we can confidently say that if we do not deliver, if we are not able to get you the endorsement, we'll refund you your money back. Last and not the least, we have genuine desire to help entrepreneurs. Friends, as you have seen that, you know, there is a trend of entrepreneurship this decade, you know, from 2020 to 2030, this decade belongs to the Indian entrepreneurs. And we, there we have seen a lot of entrepreneurs growing in India. Uh, we would like to help these entrepreneurs grow global. So that is what is driving us. Right? So friends, with this, I will end my presentation. Let us help you achieve your dream. We at AtQuest specialize in permanent residency and citizenship by investment programs being offered by governments of American and European countries. Our team of professionals is here to help you complete your migration journey and land safely at your chosen destination. AtQuest, your trusted immigration advisor.